Today's the day we hit Kennywood. It's been a minute, but we finally made it back. We live in Ohio, so it's about a, well, on the turnpike, it took us probably about an hour and a half drive. So I'm excited. I haven't been on Steel Curtain yet. So today's going to be a packed, filled, fun day. In Ohio, we have season passes to Cedar Point, but it's supposed to rain out there. So I Googled Kennywood. Weather looks great, and here's a shot. Steel Curtain. Follow me for the day. Let's get started with the fun. Finally, after sitting a half hour in line to get into the parking lot, we have parked and we're getting ready to walk in to Kennywood. There we are. So follow me for the day, guys. It's been a minute. Still Curtain wasn't here when I was last here, and this was, ooh, probably, goodness, 2017, maybe 2018. I'm excited. The only thing I hate about Kennywood versus, say, Kings Island or Cedar Point is the long walk through the tunnel just to get into the park. That's the only bad part. So now we made it in. We're late, but we had some tobaccos before getting down here. So we're finally in. Now we're trucking it down the big old long uh, path down to get into the park. This is the fun part. Actually, it's not bad when you're walking down, but when you leave, it's a big old hill. But we're going down in the tunnel. So I'm following Hubby because he's going to find us a faster way to get in here. That's my Hubby. Here's the big old tunnel. I'm anxious to get on a ride. We're in the big, dark, bad tunnel, but it's actually cool in here. I think the first ride we're going to probably have to hit is Skyrocket because... That's probably the closest to the entrance and the fastest ride to get on for our first ride of the park of the day. So follow me for the rest of the day. This is my first time in years being here. I want to say 2017, 2018. Steel Curtain wasn't even existing at that time. So we're going to head to our first ride, which is Skyrocket. So we we go up the exits to get on the ride, and I gotta figure out where that's at, but we're at it right now. Getting ready to ride it. So change your plans. Um, I had to have a potty break. So we're closer to Steel Curtain, and Steel Curtain has a habit of breaking down, so we're gonna get on that one first instead of uh, the other roller coaster. So we're headed to Steel Curtain. Here it is, guys. We're about to ride this big bad boy. Even though we're a Cleveland Browns fan, we're gonna ride the Steel Curtain. So our first ride of the day was Steel Curtain. It was amazing. We did pay for a picture. Uh, the, the lighting is really bad on it, so the guy had um, sent me a receipt. And I clicked it up and I had to download it to my PixArt. So I'm going to have to mess with it before I can uh, post it because it's all black. He said that it's a hit or miss with the flash. So we had a bunch of people in front of us and you could barely, barely see us. We went to the next frame. It's just really dark. So we did get a picture, but I got to mess with it on one of my um, PixArt studio and see if I can brighten it up. But it was amazing, guys. On to the next ride. So skyrocket, somebody got hurt and it's down, so we're gonna go on the dodgems. Okay, these were fun. I had a stalker though. That stalker right back there. Okay, so the dodgems was fun and it took me back to the day when I was a kid, but when you get older, ouch, you know, a little bit. And I had a stalker. I'll show you who my stalker was. Right there. He followed me instead of hitting other people. So I think we're going to head to the Phantom because the Skyrocket looks like it's still down. No sense of waiting around. We can just work our way back around to the front of the park where it's at on our way out. Um, we think somebody got hurt. We're not really sure. They had a stretcher up there. So obviously it's probably going to be investigated and closed for a little while. So off to the Phantom we're going. We're starting with off with the big dogs first. So catch you when we get off the ride. Let me show you a glimpse of it, though. I 
think that's the exit. So there's the Phantom. So that's our next ride of the day. Well, our third, I should say, but second coaster of the day. Then I think we're gonna make our way over to the indoor roller coaster, but this is the Phantom. So roller coaster number two, the Phantom. Let's see if I can get it. We just got the Phantom. Somewhere back there. Uh, a lot bumpier than what I remember it. So, um, yeah, watch your back if you have bad back. I'm going to go take a look at my photo here. Probably an ouch picture. Not a bad photo, but I don't have fun pics here like I do at Cedar Point. So I live in Ohio, and I have platinum passes for Cedar Point. So the other one I cared about was Steel Curtain. And I managed to fix the picture on my Pixar studio, and so now you can see us on it. So I was waiting in line for the Dodgems and I thought, why not stand here and fix it? So on to the next ride, but that was fun. But this is a cute little um, view right here. So it's a hot day. I think we're gonna head to the Pittsburgh Plunge and get a little bit wet. And it's right up. I might be wet when I come back. So we're actually headed to what's called the Wave Swinger. It's just the swings. It's cute. Uh, the Pittsburgh Plunge is next to the indoor roller coaster, and my ride time for the indoor roller coaster is at 2. So we figured we'll hit the Pittsburgh Plunge after the indoor roller coaster. So we're going to hit some rides in between that. So now we're on the swing. So the swings was a cute, fun ride, and we got some wind action, so it pulled us off. We're heading to the indoor roller coaster, and then I believe we are going to be getting onto the Pittsburgh Plunge and just work our way around the park. Having a great day so far. A few rides have been closed, hoping that they re reopen later on. Uh, so we, we shall see, but it's been a minute since I've been here, and so far some things have changed. They got rid of the Bayou Curve. Um, but they still have some of uh, the old school rides that we love and uh, including the whip, we might even get on that while we're back in the back part of the park and just make our way around to the front. But we're gonna ride some water rides because it's like 90 degrees here today. So we gotta catch a drink here soon. So uh, we're getting ready to ride the Exterminator, which is the indoor roller coaster. We're headed there right now. And they still got the whip. So we're probably gonna ride the whip and then over here is the Pittsburgh Plunge. So we're getting ready to get on the Exterminator, which is their indoor roller coaster. Oh, I got bad luck. So they closed it. I don't know, people were rushing out and said people, someone died on it, but you know how rumors are. Heading to the next ride. So in line for this fun ride is called the whip. So we're going to ride this and hit some other rides. I'm not entirely sure what happened on the exterminator, which is the indoor roller coaster. Uh, we don't know if it broke down, if somebody got hurt. You know how rumors are. People were just quick to say that somebody died. That's not confirmed. Please don't think that. It's just a rumor. So we may find out later if they reopen it or it could have been somebody overheating. We'll find out later. Yeah, they just confirmed it's closed, but they didn't confirm the reasons why. So hopefully Skyrocket reopens. Otherwise, we're just going to ride uh, each ride as, as we get to it, as we make our way around. So we just got off the whip. What a cute, fun ride. It kind of whips you around the corner, but we're hot. So we're getting on the Pittsburgh plunge and we're currently waiting in line for it. There it is. So we decided we're gonna get cooled off while we wait and see if they reopen the indoor roller coaster. Uh, the lady didn't seem that that like it was a big concern, so they probably will reopen it. And then we're gonna check on Skyrocket that we missed earlier. But yep, in line for the Pittsburgh plunge. The line's moving pretty rapidly, so that's why we hopped in it. That's the ride. 
So it's getting ready to come down. I think we're definitely going to get cooled off on this ride. See you after the ride. We just got off the Exterminator, which is the indoor roller coaster. That was amazing. It was fun. It was everything I remembered and then some. So we were in line for the Pittsburgh Plunge previously in my segment and um, we were getting ready to get on and it looked like rain was coming so they closed it. So, boy, it's a fun day and we're getting on some rides but there's a lot that's been closing on us so we have to backtrack to the ones that weren't open or that closed on us while we we're in line. So we were really close to getting on it. We were down by the raft and then unfortunately they closed it down. So. We're just going to head to whatever rides we can catch before the rain comes in, if it does. But, uh, yeah, it's, it hurts the heart a little bit when you're waiting in line and then they close it on you. So, we're going to get a drink, potty break, and go to the next ride. But, yeah, definitely try the Exterminator if you come to Kennywood in Pennsylvania because... Uh, is this near, Yeah, this is near Pittsburgh. We're from Ohio, so uh, it was worth it. So, on to the next ride after our quick little break. Boy, this day keeps getting better and better. So, we got into uh, Noah's Ark, which is a cute fun house. And then they closed that down because guess what it's doing? <laughs> Probably really should have rethought this day. It was a last minute trip. Hopefully, it don't last because we drove two hours to be here. down a little bit and we managed to go into this thing called the Noah's Ark. It's really cute. It's not really a fun house. So how would you describe it? Uh, I don't know. It's like walking into like a fun house but it's like all Noah's Ark animals. It's all am animatronic like animated stuff with sounds and animals. Uh, a little bit of fun house to it because you walk across these boards that kind of jiggle. You go in the room that it looks like you're flipping upside down. Um, when you're walking across the railing. So it, I guess you could call it like a fun house. So we're still waiting for the rain to subside a little bit more. Um, this is the only thing that they opened and the exterminator, which is the indoor roller coaster that we already rode. Um, we're actually walking out and it's just drizzling a little bit. Um, we're gonna wait around to see what the weather does on whether they close the park completely or if it's gonna continue to do this all day. But let me show you what this cute little Noah's Ark thing is. It goes back and forth. But it's like a cute little fun house. It rocks back and forth up there. You got the cute little animals. And you actually walk through there. So we're going to wait it out a little bit longer and see what the weather does. If it continues to rain, obviously it's going to be a rained out day, so hopefully not. So we're uh, going to finish up our drinks, see what else they have to open. Uh, there is this indoor uh, shooting thing that we could go to, so we're going to find out where that's at and see if that's open. And then see if the roller coasters reopen here shortly. It's still kind of sprinkling, so we'll see. It's just one of those days where it showed on my weather app that it wasn't going to storm and we get here and it just rolled in quickly. But um, my goal was to ride Steel Curtain and we did. So I'm happy about that and um, I feel blessed about that. But we're going to see what else is open that we could do while we uh, outweigh the rain and see if they get some coasters going. So off to the next ride. So we are in line for this 
ride that you sit in and you go into like this haunted house and you shoot the target. So we figured what way to beat out the rain by being indoors on an indoor ride. So that's our current situation right now while we wait for all the other rides to uh, open back up. But it's hard to say because it's still cloudy out there and it's still kind of raining. But we're indoors right now. Uh, and we're waiting for this ride. Uh, so you sit in this little moving cart and everybody gets their own little target gun and as you're riding through like this haunted house uh, you have these targets that you shoot and at the end it calculates it and it tells you who won that was in your cart so if you're good at target shooting this will be a fun ride but it's, it's a fun little competition but it's fun it's like a haunted house but you're in a moving vehicle like not vehicle but like a moving little ride cart and then these little guns are attached to your little moving cart, front and back. And then you just take your little gun and you shoot these little bullseye targets. And then it has this digital uh, calculator on it. So at the end, it'll say who, who scored what. So it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. So by the time we get out of this ride, hopefully the roller coasters all open back up. So we're gonna have fun uh, doing some target practicing here in this cute little indoor haunted house. It's like a like a, another fun house type thing too. So while we're waiting in line for this indoor target fun house, uh, we hear a thunderbolt going, which is a roller coaster right next to us. So that's a good sign that the weather might be making a turn and might be able to have a fun evening after all. So we're just gonna finish this ride and head to a coaster. So we're getting ready to get into our um, little buggy. So this is called Ghostly Estates. So a group of people go into a room. If you've never been to Kennywood in uh, Pennsylvania, it's right by Pittsburgh, but it's called Mifflin, uh, Pittsburgh. Almost forgot I'm not in Ohio. Um, you go in a room and a ghost talks to you. So then after the ghost talks to you about what you do in your buggy, so your your main goal is to kill the spirits. That's what these targets are. So it's really cool. So you go in this dark room, a ghost appears, and talks about the state. You get in this uh, four-person buggy and everybody has their own little laser gun and you try to kill the spirits by aiming at the targets. So we're almost at the top, finally. It's a little bit of a wait, but good news is it looks like the weather got a little bit better and the roller coasters were testing. So hopefully by the time we get off this ride, we can go get on a coaster. I beat my husband, 580 to his 500. So it's a cute, fun ride. I beat my husband. I had 580 and he only had 500. So you just shoot these little guns and you shoot them at the targets and then they light up and then you know you, you reach the target. And then what happens is the spirit um, or the animated devices will like start moving and stuff or make a noise. They have like a kitty cat. It's really, really fun. So I highly recommend it. It's called Ghostly. Um, manner uh you go into this room and you have a ghost talk to you or a spirit you should say and then you go upstairs and you get on your four person buggy but me and my husband had the buggy to ourselves so we're off to this thun uh thunderbolt roller coaster right here so we're getting ready to get on this one so catch you when we get off so we're about ready to bold um get on thunderbolt so we're glad that the rain stopped and we're almost to the train. We're almost up there. The ride behind Thunderbolt is Phantom. Thunderbolt 
It's a pretty cute, fun ride. I'm just used to the rides at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, but we're gonna go on this cute little turtle ride. Um, and then after that, we'll, if it doesn't pour down rain again, cause it's sprinkling, so I'm crossing my fingers, we'll probably ride the, the train ride and then hit some more coasters after that. So over here is this cute little turtle ride. It just kind of goes around in a circle. It's cute. So we're just trying to hit like all the nostalgic rides and all the ground rides is what we refer them at. And then we'll be going on the choo-choo train after this. It's, it's a cute little ride. So in between all the coasters, we try to hit some of the, the nostalgic slash ground rides too. So we're trying to hit all the rides here. We still have the Music Express we missed and the Skyrocket out front. So hopefully we can catch those on the way out. So waiting in line for this cute little turtle ride. So we finally, finally made it up and we're getting ready to get on. Finally, we get to board the little turtle. We gotta ride the nostalgic rides and the ground rides, then heading to the choo-choo and another coaster. I think we're gonna take another ride on Steel Curtain. Okay, so that was kind of like a kid's ride, but it was a fun one. And the conductor, or whatever you wanna call it, the ride operator, made it kind of fun. So we're gonna head to the choo-choo train right now and probably make our way around to the other roller coasters they have. It's a cute, fun park. Like I said, I haven't been here in a, a few years. Uh, some things have changed. Uh, they took out the buy-in curve. Uh, that thing was fun. Um, most of the roller coasters are the same. The only thing that's new is Steel Curtain. That ride is very smooth and it's amazing. So, heading to the train. There's the choo-choo train. Gotta find the entrance here. Like I said, it's been a minute since we've been here, so trying to find everything and the entrances are what we gotta try to do. To, I think we found it. You wanna do on the entrance. So we're on the choo-choo. Taking a little bit of a break and relaxing and as you can see the sun is out. So we're gonna head to a coaster after this. We're gonna enjoy the view. Here's some of the view. and stuff like that and your own food and drinks whereas when I live in Ohio I go to Cedar Point and they don't allow that so Kennywood and Mifflin Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh does allow it but I have to show you these cute little trains the eyes actually move uh, isn't that 
that cute? The eyes move on these choo-choo trains. They all move. Isn't it cute? That one's moving a lot over there. So the sun finally came out and looks really nice, so we're just gonna head to our next destination. We used, usually ride these little cute cars, they're called the racers. They're kind of like the, I call it the old time cars or the old fart cars is what I refer it as. But it looks like they were down, so we're just gonna keep moving along to find something else to ride. Um, the other thing that I wanna point out about the park, not only they have plenty of picnic areas and you can bring your own coolers, and drinks and food and all that um, so they do allow that and I've seen plenty plenty of picnic areas throughout the park there also are a lot of restroom breaks throughout the park so it's not like a, um, a seldom thing in some places that I've been to they're quite frequent so if you're like me and you have an overactive bladder you'll definitely find one at pretty much every so many steps that you take so they're all over so they're easy to find so um, we're gonna head to the next ride. I'm not sure if we're gonna catch a coaster. It's been a minute since we've been here, so we're still trying to find our way around. Um, but we're enjoying our day. Um, aside from the small little rain delay, it's been a great day so far. Uh, it looks like we're headed back towards the front of the park. Um, I think we probably missed some of the rides, so I'm gonna pull out my map and, and then see what we've missed. But they still have some more ground rides and nostalgic rides that we want to catch in between the roller coaster times. So we're having a great day. I'm glad the rain held off and it looks pretty good. But the train was cute. They did change it up. That was one other thing. Uh, it used to be a really fun uh, train ride where they would give you like a tour and they would talk about the dam that we had passed. Um, and then they would talk about the history of the park. But they changed it to more of a kiddie ride which is a little bit disappointed to Thomas, the train. It's fun for the kids, the adults. And it's if you want to take a break and just ride around the park. So it doesn't really give you the history like it used to. So we're going to go find some more rides to, uh, to ride. Before we get on our next ride, I did want to give another tip. If you're like me and you can't have a lot of sugar, they do offer a no sugar added ice cream. It's at a little ice cream place called Millie's. Funny story, we were actually standing under Millie's and my husband got us a drink while we were um, waiting out the rain and I didn't realize they had no sugar added ice cream. So I'm gonna have to swing back there and get me some. So it looks like we made our way back over by Steel Curtain. So we're gonna take another ride on Steel Curtain and then we're gonna make our way towards the front of the park where we missed Skyrocket and some of the rides like the uh, Music Express, the old school Music Express. So I'm going to show you a little bit of steel curtain. So we're going to ride this again and then we're going to hit the other um, roller coasters that we missed um, while we were making our way over this way. So steel curtain it is. So we just got off Steel Curtain. It's still an amazing ride, very, very smooth. I would say it's better than riding Steel Vengeance almost at uh, Cedar Point because it's a lot more smoother. We're gonna go check out our pics. So we ended up getting this picture because it was way better than the one we had earlier today, but I was able to use my app and I got that one more clear, but this one automatically was clear. So on to the next ride. So right now we are standing in a little bit of a long line for the racers. It's a another fun roller coaster here at Kennywood in Mifflin, Pennsylvania, near Pittsburgh. And then the next coaster we're probably gonna hit is the Jackrabbit, Skyrocket, and then some of the other nostalgic rides before the end of our evening. So we still got about four more hours. I think they close at nine here. That's the only downfall. So if you come here to Kennywood. The park opens at 10, but it only stays open until 9. I don't know if it's a staffing thing, a COVID thing, or if that's how it always has been. I think a few years ago when I uh, first started coming here, I think they were open between 10 and 11. So uh, The only disappointment that I have seen here today, other than the little bit of uh, sidetrack with the rain, is there are a lot of multiple rides that have been down. 
some of our favorites that we look forward to coming to ride. But uh, the bigger rides are what, what is important. So we're getting up here close finally to getting on the cart, but this is the racers that we'll be riding. And then right next door, the Jackrabbit here at Kennywood, Mifflin, PA. Uh, might as well say Pittsburgh is maybe 15, 20 minutes away from Pittsburgh. So, having a great day so far. One thing that I want to add is they call it the racers. So they do have two cars that race each other. Uh, it's almost similar to the Gemini at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. So I'm going to show you two that are both cars. So you have a red and a blue car and they race each other. That's why they call this ride the racers. So it's kind of fun having two coasters going at the same time. Uh, if you go to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, where we're from, they have the Gemini and it does the same thing, a red and a blue cart, and they race each other at the same time. So it's always hard to tell who wins. So we just got off the racers. We chose the green train. I thought it was a blue one. I got sunglasses on. And we beat the red train, so we got on the winning train. Now we're headed to Jackrabbit. So here we go. So, my husband and I just got off the Jackrabbit. What a name. Um, you know, it's a fun park. It's a fun ride. Um, definitely family oriented. Definitely you would want to bring your kids here. Um, someone like me who is from Ohio, uh, I don't know how familiar anybody would be with uh, Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. So when you ride those coasters and then you come here, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, it's we've had an amazing fun day. Uh, one of the reasons why we came here is because our local amusement park, Cedar Point, was supposed to be rained out, and this wasn't calling for rain. So we came here even though we got a little bit of rain delay, but it was it wasn't that bad. It was maybe about a half hour. But when you compare those coasters to here, the coaster capital of the world, which is Cedar Point, yeah, it definitely feels like a kid's park, but we're having a good time. Steel Curtain probably takes all of the coasters here. So we're getting ready to ride the kangaroo. Let me show you. Some screaming kids. Uh, it's a cute, fun ride. It's another nostalgic um, ground ride we, we like to ride. So after this fun, cute little kangaroo ride, we'll be going on the merry-go-round and then take a break with our ice cream. You gotta have ice cream when you're at a park. So luckily here at Kennywood, they do offer a no sugar added ice cream where Cedar Point, I haven't found it. I wish they would add that, but we're gonna get ready to get on this cute little ride and then head to the merry-go-round when we're done. fun ride. That's why they call it the kangaroo. It kind of like hops you up the hill and you kind of bounce. So I like ground rides, nostalgic rides, just as much as the roller coasters, even though I am totally a coaster queen. So after this ride, we're hitting the merry ground and hopefully some ice cream for a little bit of a break. Definitely one of our favorites, and I think after this we're gonna take an ice cream break. Then there's a cute little boat ride. It's, a, it's like a 3D animated thing when you're on a boat. They have a 4D theater we want to hit, the Music Express, and we definitely got to go back to the Sky Rocket because we missed that in the beginning because they were closed. So, having a great time. So we're just waiting for our turn on the carousel.
playground was a nice ride. It's a break in between walking and waiting in line and sitting and relaxing. We didn't get on a horsey, we just sat in the bench. So I think we're gonna go take a nice cream break and check out some other areas that we might have missed. So here's some, this, uh, this ride looks to be down. I was gonna ride this one, unless they're just loading up. So we're just going into certain areas that we haven't really uh, been through. We just kind of circled around. We haven't done the center part. There's a lot of restaurants here. Right in front of me, you'll see a really, really nice restaurant. It's called Parkside. So one side of it has like a, um, kind of like a bar where you can get like beer and some alcohol drinks. And then this whole outside is seating and it's a restaurant. So that was the ride over there that I was going to ride. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's running. Uh, as I stated before, a lot of the, um, a lot of some, like a lot of my favorite rides haven't been running today. I don't know if it's a COVID thing still like a result of it like with not having workers but the Parkside Cafe is the um, nice restaurant that you could sit indoors in air conditioning or you can sit around the whole outside so um, they do have your little fast like if you want like your candy apples ice creams uh, hot dogs hamburgers that sort of stuff but they do have a lot of really really nice restaurants um, if you want to just take a, a break and a breather. The park, to me, um, just isn't that huge. It's pretty walkable quickly. Um, the lines haven't been that long. So we've been able to almost ride everything other than the ones that have been down. So we are here at, it's called Millie's. It's an ice cream plate. So we're getting ready to take an ice cream break. Well, that was disappointing. So somebody sent us back to this place called Millie's because they had suggested that it had no sugar added ice creams. And we walked all the way back here to find out they don't. So I guess we're going to have to find an ice cream place on the outside of the park. That's sad. So we're going to go towards the Music Express and ride some of the other rides that we missed in the beginning of the park such as the cute little boat ride. It's a 3D boat ride. Um, and they have a 4D theater and of course Skyrocket. And then by them, it'll probably be time to head on out and grab some dinner. We don't usually try to eat in the park. We bring our own snacks. Uh, we, we snack healthy, so um, we don't usually try to spend a lot of money in the parks. And we usually go on the outside of the park for dinners. So that was a little bit disappointing, um, but hopefully maybe I can find an ice cream place on the way out. Uh, so now we're headed to our next ride. Guest services and are in several parts of the park. One in the front and one back here. Uh, this is the fan I'm getting ready to go. And we're just basically looking around to see uh, what we've missed, we're coming upon the Music Express. So we're coming up on the Music Express and we're he heading towards getting on that real quick. That was a long ride. I've never been on the Music Express anywhere where they give you a long ride. Not complaining though, it was a nice little wind uh, break so headed over to the skyrocket which we missed in the beginning if it's running because it wasn't earlier uh, I can't tell from here if it's still running and then there's a cute little boat ride uh, 3d so then after that we're probably gonna head out and get some dinner because it's actually getting close to closing time so by the time we hit those two rides it'll probably be close to them closing we want to hit it hit the parking lot and head out before the, the large traffic because we haven't eaten dinner yet. So we are just getting off the Skyrocket. Yay, it was actually open, but it was fun, but it was no Maverick from Cedar Point. So um, like I said, for my husband and I, when uh, we go to Cedar Point, it's the coaster capital of the world. I mean, there's 
just no ends, ifs, or buffs, butts around it. So, like, coming here, it's 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 been amazingly fun. It's different. Uh, it was supposed to be, like, rainy up in Sandusky and, and our local amusement park. So we decided to come here since we haven't been here in years. But it just, you know, it's, it's a kid's park. Like, the coasters don't really compare to what we're used to is all I'm saying. Not making fun of it, not mocking it, because we are having a really nice uh, weekend so far, and we're enjoying ourselves. And some of the rides that Cedar Point don't have, they have here. So right now, what we're doing is we're heading towards that cute little boat ride. You just sit in it and you go around, and it's like these um, 3D uh, things that you see throughout it. They may have made some changes because they did change the name of it because it used to be called the Garfield. Um, but now it's called the Old Mill. So I'm going to see what it's all about. Um, and if they've changed anything on the inside of it or if it's similar. Obviously, they probably changed it from Garfield to something else. So we're about to find out. So we're headed right here. And this is the ride we're about ready to get on. It's called the Old Mill. It's really cute how they have it uh, kind of all decorated out. It fits the name of it. I never really understood. There's the little boats that we'll be getting on. So we just need to find out how we get on it. Okay. These are the cute little boats we're about to get on. So we're on the boat. And this is what we are heading in. So they have these like cute little 3D things. So it might get a little dark just for a minute. So this is called the Old Mill. It used to be called Garfield. fun little cute boat ride there was some 3d stuff but they had a lot of like animated stuff in there um, it's called the old mill it used to be called Garfield so I prefer this ride better so it was spooky it was like a indoor haunted house but you were on a little boat and you just floated around in these different sections and they had these little different setups and uh, little um, fun like skeletons and some were playing the banjo, some were like scary. Uh, you can hear like things on the speaker. So it was like an indoor haunted house kind of. Like everything represented like old, like obviously like skeletons, bats. They had some skunks in there, not real of course, but it was fun. So we are at the beginning of the tunnel where it says good night. So this concludes our day at Kennywood in Mifflin, PA about 20 minutes away from uh, Pittsburgh. Had a great day, now it's time to go get something to eat. So we're in our car and we are headed to dinner. So, so we just Googled a really cute restaurant. Uh, we wanted to try something different. We was gonna go to Applebee's, which we're familiar with and familiar with their menu, but uh, we're in a different location, so we decided we're going to try something new. It's called um, Homeville Trolley Shop. So they got these cool sandwiches, and I'm looking for a, a Philly cheesesteak. That's what I'm looking for. Yum. So after a long day, um, sometimes I just want a really nice, good sandwich. So we're hoping his GPS isn't working very good, so we're trying to figure out where this place is. If we can't, then I guess plan two is uh, Applebee's. <laughs> But hopefully we can find this trolley shop because the menu looks amazing and the prices are not bad. Woo poo. For some reason it's closed. It looks like a cute little place. So I guess plan B, we're going to go to the familiar place of what we're used to, which is Applebee's. So another 10, 15 minute drive. So it's just been that kind of day. Things closed, rain, but we're familiar with Applebee's. So that's where we're headed. Whew, that was a drive try, fi, trying to find um, Applebee's. That's the only downfall about being in Pennsylvania. All the one-way roads, GPS doesn't work right, so we finally made it. So, what a great ending to our night. A nice dinner. So, we had a really amazing, fun day. 
Um, it was uh, it was nice. So now we're going to go in, if he can drive, get some uh, dinner, and then head home. And we have to let our four-legged furry friends out uh, that you always see on my, my videos. They need to be taken out. Uh, we had my brother and sister-in-law take them out all day long and watching them for us. But ain't nothing like getting home to your fur babies and hugging them and taking them for a little walk and giving them some love. So we had a great day.